hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to connect the model em312sr where you have the loop in and out loop where you have the fire alarm the lamp part of the emergency that is the emergency light and where you have the magnetic doors or maybe other things that are connected to the loop this model EM312SR in this case I'm going to use uh, the resistance of 22 ohms for each terminal you have the number 1 to 13 EM312SR model allows you to interface an addressable analog control panel with external appear means of its supervised input and output. Unlike in the case of only loop where you have only uh, fire alarm loop and uh, liberatore and the emergency emergency light for example where you have the in and out it comes to an end as it comes to one end and it goes out from the other end that is in out in out cable in this case the model here has the fire alarm the magnetic doors and the emergency light but the emergency light is not going to be connected to the model so the model has 24 volt ampere so this is me doing the connection the model has a number from 1 to 13 number 1 2 3 4 are your in and out loop which you can a kind of put either in 1 and 2 out 3 and 4 or out 1 and 2 in 3 and 4 they are the same then for you to uh, kind of terminate the loop and continue with your 24 volt input you have to put resistance the resistance is going to be number 5 and 6 then your 24 volt input is going to be number 7 and 8 then if you have uh, let's say fire alarm equipment connected you have to put it in number 9 and 10 but if you don't have fire alarm equipment and you have magnetic doors you have to put another resistance in number 9 and 10 in this case and your number 11 12 13 are contacts these contacts number 11 is the common the common a kind of uh, where the, the, the contact takes alimentation then the number 13 the number 12 sorry is the normally closed contact and the number 13 is the normally open contact so in the case of magnetic doors you have your resistance in the, in the number 9 and 10 which is supposed to be the fire alarm output terminal then you have the black wire of the 24 volt normal to your number 11 which is the common then you have your black wire of your magnetic door to the number 12 which means that your magnetic door is going to work under normally closed contact so but in this case the, the model you are seeing here only the fire alarm equipment is being connected and not the magnetic doors okay where you have your one number one two three four loop your resistance five and uh, five and six resistance seven and eight 24 volt and nine and ten fire alarm equipment okay then um, if for example you don't have a fire alarm equipment as i've said you put another resistance in number 9 and 10 and your number 11 12 13 as I've said is your common your common uh, that is 
the common, we call it common in Italian language. Then number 12 is your normally closed contact and your number 13 is your normally closed contact, uh, normally open contact. So this terminal you are seeing here is the fire alarm terminal. So the fire alarm terminal, you have it, we, I indicated it as a decable of 24 slash 1. So this 24 slash 1, you have your red wire connected to number 9 and the red wire of the 24 slash 1 again because I did a kind of pont, we call it pont, a joining. So the red wire of 24 slash 1 that came directly from the, the cable is connected in the first terminal, that is number 1. Number 2 is the red wire of the, uh, the joining. Number 3 is the black wire of another joining and number 4 is the black wire of the 24 slash 1. I don't know if you can see it very well, so see the cable. 24 slash 1 so here you have your in loop your 24 slash 1 cable and your 24 volt normal cable okay then in some cases you have a lampada de emergenza that is emergency light uh, using the loop so they are controlled using the loop because in this case we have emergency light connected to the loop fire alarm connected to the loop the first fire alarm let's say if you have series of fire alarm let's say three you call it a another three you call it b another three you call it c so the first fire alarm you put your in and out loop plus 24 volt normal then the rest you don't put them loop you don't connect loop wires in them so um, as you can see in this case we have the terminal of fire alarm then the module as i've just explained to you without uh, the magnetic door because uh, by the side of this module here we don't have magnetic door near it so uh, there's no magnetic door here that is why you are seeing another tray holes that have been not connected anything now that is it should be number 11 12 13 I don't know if you can see it very well. 11, 12, 13, the last three terminals. Nothing is connected in them because that should be the the common. That is the common. We call it common in Italian language. Common and uh, 12 should be normally closed contact. 13 should be normally open contact. So we don't have the magnetic door here, but if you have magnetic doors and you, you don't have uh, the fire alarm equipment near it, another resistance is going to be applied in the number 9 and 10, where right here I connected the fire alarm equipment. Okay, so this is the diagram that I was telling you, the control panel 24 volt slash loop, plus loop, sorry. The module EM312S are the fire alarm, three fire alarms equipment. Uh, the first fire alarm equipment you are going to apply, put the loop plus 24 volts normal. Other, three, other two fire alarms you, you put only 24 volts slash one cable. Remember 24 volt normal is the input 24. The 24 volts slash one is the output 24. Then the 24 slash 2 is just like normal contact wires, which is the magnetic door, which has a common normally closed and normally open. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you all. Bye.